you know, they, they found uh, or they, they seem to have found something near to uh, what they are referring to as God particle. You know this? It's called the boson which has a mass which is of a certain significance. If you try to look at the whole universe, you will not see anything. If you just look at an atom intensely enough and if the atom yields to you, then you know how the whole universe is made. Now they are no more talking about atom. They were talking about subatomic particles. Now they are not even talking about that. When two subatomic particles collide, not atoms, when two protons collide, something spills out of that, they want to see that. But when you say, I am on the path of yoga, you don't… you are not even interested in the tiny minuscule particle. You want to see the empty space which holds all this in place. That is their desire also, but they kind of given up on it. That's their desire also, that they want to see what is it that's holding all this together. But they… they don't have… They understand, they're sensible enough to understand with these two eyes, with these senses, we can't see it. The only way is to go to the nearest point and see it. The nearest point is as far as a, away as Timbuktu. You understand? Right now, I don't know if you're interested in these things, but you must know these things because it's got a very direct relationship with yogic system. <coughs> there was a time when scientists believed, they thought, let's say if this is an atom, big enough for you to see? Okay. <laughs> if this is an atom, proton, neutron, electron are all embedded in it like these dots. They thought it was like that. Then by the time you came to high school, they wrote a different picture. They wrote one central circle which contains proton, neutron and electrons are going around like planets in different formats. Yes, you've seen those pictures? But now they know it's completely wrong. And we have always known it's completely wrong. That's why textbooks never ever interested me because when I look at it, it looked dumb. Today, suppose… suppose this is the size of the core of the atom. The electrons are, let's say, somewhere approximately a mile away. That's the kind of distance you understand it? Within an atom. An atom is not like this. No human being has ever seen an atom. Do you know this? Forget about a proton, neutron, electron. Nobody has ever witnessed an atom. Even in a super electron microscope, you cannot see it. In that, there is a housing where proton, neutrons are there and the electrons are about a mile away in comparison, in proportion, I am saying. So what is the maximum substance in this? Emptiness. Emptiness, isn't it? We always told you, the yogic systems always insisted that the microcosm and the macrocosm are made the same way. If you know this piece of life, you will know everything in the universe because that's how it is made. When they say, if you know the way these bosons behave and what they are, they are saying we will know the whole universe, the way the universe was made, we will understand. But you don't understand that you are also a bloody boson. In the cosmic space, you are just a boson. So you are as much as a Higgs boson in the universe. If you observe this, if you pay enough attention to this, you would know everything. 
But if you have not even paid attention to anything around you, paying attention to within you will be out of question.